Shalom, brothers and sisters. So many people know we live in an end time, but not many people know how to prepare for the coming Jesus. The people are continue talking about Ebola, a blood moon, Islamic State. All those are Bible prophecy. So we truly live in the end times. In the, in the book of Revelation, they have uh, eight blessings. Revelation 1 3, they have uh, three blessings in one verse. And uh, four other blessings was written here. One more blessing was people who had a first resurrection. So let's go back to the Revelation 1 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the word of his prophecy, and keep the thing which are written therein, for the time is at hand. The people who read, they hear, and keep the prophecy in their heart, they are they the one blessed. Revelation 16, 15, Behold, I come as thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. In Revelation 19.9, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. Revelation 22.7, Jesus said again, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the saying of prophecy of this book. In Revelation 22.14, Blessed are those who wash their robe, that they may have the right to tree of life and may go through the gate into the city. In the King James Version, it said a commandment, but in the original text in Greek, it is robe. We have to wash our robe with repentance. Knowing the prophecy and prepare the wedding of the Lamb and keep it the garment or wedding dress in good condition are truly blessing. Let's go back to first seal. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seal, and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow, and crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. So let's go back to the one of the four beasts. The beast here is Joan, King James Version, translated as a beast. Most other translated as living creature, living beings. The real beast, Book of Revelation 13, are not Joan, it is Darion. The Joan coming out seven times, Book of Revelation. Revelation 5, 6, Then I saw a lamb looking as if it had been slain, standing at the center of the throne, encircled by four living creatures and the elders. Another one is Revelation 14, 3, And they sang a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures. This is Rapture saint and sing a new song to the Father of God. Why they have a before the four living creature? Because nearby throne, these four living creatures were there. The four living creatures, this is not the beast from Revelation 13 1. They are heavenly beings. It is similar. Creature shown in Ezekiel chapter 10 is shown as a cherubim. I really believe this is cherubim. To give you an idea, inside of a temple of Jerusalem, they have an Ark of a Covenant. Nearby Ark of a Covenant, like you see, they have a statue of an animal. Now, of course, Ark of a Covenant symbolizes the throne of God. The beast here symbolizes the real living creature in heaven. Four living creatures 
a better translation. We're talking about four beasts. Next one is Command C. This four living creature is commanding to the white horse rider. Come and see. The word come is come to the throne. And then we have a problem. Traditionally, the white horse rider interpreted as the Antichrist. The Antichrist cannot come to the throne. So it cannot be Antichrist. Not only that, this white horse rider was given a crown. Antichrist, demon, Satan, they never have a crown. So it cannot be Antichrist. All the horse rider in Revelation chapter 6, they are archangels. He went first conquering and to conquer. We have to pay attention here, conquering. Conquering in Greek is Nikon. Nikon means overcome or victory. All the Bible version translated as uh, conquer, except Jubilee Bible 2000 and Young's literal translation, translated as overcome. And then why using conquer instead of overcome? Because same thing. Because people believe White Horse Rider is the Antichrist. Antichrist cannot overcome. That's why they don't use overcome, but using conquer. His real meaning is overcome. Using several times in the book of Revelation, one of the examples, Revelation 2.11, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. He that overcometh shall not be heard of the second death. What a blessing world. That overcome is really a blessing world. Revelation 21.7, He that overcometh shall inherit all things and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. That's the blessing for the overcomers. That's why translated they didn't use this overcome. We know the host writers are archangel. I'll give you several reasons so far, which is come and see, crown, overcome. They are all those world can using for the godly being, not the demonic being. The next thing is the above. White Horse Rider has given a bow for what purpose? I believe the bow is targeting the bride of Jesus. Make bride of Jesus to be ready for the rapture of the church. That's why he was given crown because of winning the soul. That's why only White Horse Rider has crown. Think about it. There's another White Horse Rider, Revelation chapter 19, that was Jesus. White Horse Rider make bride of Jesus to overcome. How to? Through the sincere repentance, make them live in holy and righteous life, and restore the first love to Jesus. Those are all needed as a bride of Jesus Christ. For the horse riders, they have for them white horse, red horse, black horse, and pale horse. Once horse rider come out, they don't go home, they don't disappear, they continue circulating until their mission is completely finished. So let's talk about second seal. The second seal is for red horse rider, Revelation 6, 3 to 4. When, when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see. You see the very similar pattern, come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that, that their own to take place from the earth, and that they should kill one another. There was given unto him a great sword. Second seal is for the red horse rider. This red horse rider take peace from the earth. Have you been noticed there is more violence, war, shooting all around the world or lately? It's getting worsening and worsening. There are so many things I could talk about. Example as school shooting. In 2007, the Virginia Tech 2012, Sandy Hook Elementary. 
But a recent uh, newspaper published the statistic which showed 74 school shooting since Sandy Hook Elementary. So school is no longer safe place anymore. Why? Because we live in end time. People wake up. Jesus is coming back soon. So many wars going all around the world. But still, Ukraine is civil war going on. Israel recently, Syria, Iraq is part of ISIS land. Southern Sudan, Egypt, Libya, Central African Republic, and Nigeria. So this first and second seal are already open. That's why the world has become chaotic and chaotic. The third seal is for Black Horse Rider, which is Revelation 6, 5 to 6. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast said, Come and see. This is the same pattern as previous we saw. And I behold, and lo, a black horse. He that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I, and I heard a voice in the midst of a four beasts say, Measured of wheat for a penny. And their measure of barley for a penny. And see, thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Interesting pattern we see. They have a four living creatures and four horsemen. Four living creatures is heavenly being. Four horses men are archangel. He had a, a pair of balances. The balances is a measurement also for judgment. That's why it cannot demonic. It's a heavenly being. And only God can judge. Here we see wheat and barley. That was a major food in Israel at that time. The majority of people, of course, majority of people in the world was non-believers. Oil and wine, I believe those are Christians and Jews. You know the scale in the old term they're using for the economic measurement. So this is for economic collapse. You know when does subprime mortgage crisis happen? It started December 2007. That mean Black Horse Rider has been circulating since that time. Black Horse Rider still continue working his job at this point. He is waiting for next big economic collapse. But it's coming soon. Fourth seal, Pale Horse Rider, Revelation 6, 7 to 8. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast said, Come and see. And then I look and behold a pale horse. And his name that was set on him was death. And hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the first part of the earth. To kill with sword and with the hunger and with the death and with the beasts of the earth. So pale horse coming out and the fourth seal open. The pale, the Greek term is chloros. We have another chloros in book of Revelation, which is A7. It is green grass. The green is chloros. The pale horse real mean is green horse. Why green? Because they have uh, some religion. They like to use green a lot. It said that the first part of the earth, one quarter of the earth, those part of the earth is from North Africa, Middle East, Pakistan to Indonesia, where Muslims live in predominantly. That's why if you see the crisis of Egypt lately, ISIS, Nigeria, Libya, where all those things happen in this area. Not only that, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and Ebola. For the last several months, Ebola become a big issue because all it is written in the Bible. Started this in December 2010 from Arab Spring. That means pale horse rider is circulating and doing work his job. Please watch this video clip. Uh, it, it's been
God is showing people to wand how close his day is. That's why we have a fifth year of a cry of the martyrs. Why? Because so many people are killed not only by ISIS. They have so many Christians that are killed, especially Muslim predominant countries all around the world. Revelation 6, 9, 11 when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw on the altar the soul of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robe were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season, until their fellow servants or to their brethren that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. This is one of the reasons the rapture has not occurred yet. Because they have a white robe, they mean wedding dress, but they are still asking God. If rapture occur before this event, they should be gone into the wedding of the Lamb. So they are waiting until the number is fulfilled. Once the number is fulfilled, Jesus is coming for the rapture of the church. So God listened to their prayer. God listened to their ask. The day of God's judgment coming for the sixth seal. For the sixth seal is not the great tribulation yet, because the rapture has not occurred yet. Six seal, Revelation 6, 12 to 17. And I beheld when he had opened the six seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and moon became as blood, and the star of heaven fell unto earth. Even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places, and the kings of the earth, and the great men, the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, every free man, hid themselves in the dens in the rocks of the mountain. And said to the mountain and rock, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his bread is come, and who shall be able to stand? The first event, the sixth seal, is great earthquake. So many people have been prophesying California earthquake. So when the California earthquake happened, I believe that is fulfillment of a great earthquake in the sixth year. The sun became black as sackcloth of hair. Mean, the sun became dark, which might be solar eclipse, but now are more toward to three days of darkness. At the time of rapture, of preparation of rapture, the archangel Michael defeat the dragon. That is book of Revelation 12:7. Here is a dragon in the Bible, King James. Dragon cast it out from second heaven because Satan has the throne 
in the second heaven. The dragon cast it out to the earth. That's why they have a darkness going on two to three days. But it's not the time for the great tribulation yet. The moon became as blood. As you know, we live in blood moon tetra. Passover to in 2014 and 2015. The four times blood moon we call blood moon tetra, which happened during the biblical holiday. For the last 2000 years, it happened only eight times. The next blood moon after this one is 568 years later. The six year event fulfilled in 568 years later, little likely. That's why I truly believe this six year event is coming this year and next year. According to bloodmoonscoming.com, it said Lord's perfect sign. When you see the graph on the right side, everything which is partial solar eclipse, solar eclipse, total lunar eclipse, they are all become symmetric for the day of January 5th, 2015. It never happened in the past, will never happen in the future. God was giving the sign in heaven. This blood moon is so special. That's why I truly believe this is the blood moon in the book of Revelation chapter 6. That means time for the Jesus coming is right near. It is time to really repent and seek the God's presence a living holy life. So let's continue to talk about the sixth year event. Next one is the star of heaven fell onto the earth. Star in Greek is asterisk, better translated as asteroid. When an asteroid hit the ocean, it generates huge tsunami. The tsunami is more devastating than anything else. It may kill millions of people. Once great earthquake, tsunami come, the entire world become chaotic. It is God's waking call for the last chance before the rapture. The heaven departed as scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. I've been thought about this verse for a long time. I concluded this is the pole shift. Once the Earth hit by the asteroid, by the impact, the pole, the North Pole, South Pole, the position has been changed. That's why it looked like mountain island is moving, but in fact, the pole has been changed. Of course, this event happened, all the people who has power, the rich men has power to hide themselves in the underground bunkers. It will be happen soon. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? The sixth seal event are God's judgment to shake his church before the rapture. So there will be great revival going on after asteroid earthquake tsunami. Many people will sincerely repent and come to Jesus. First of all, martial law will be declared. I also believe they have a big leadership coming out of this disaster. That man become eventually become Antichrist. So we are waiting for the six seal event at this point. This six seal event is not great tribulation yet. The great tribulation will happen after rapture of the church, which is seven seal event. In Revelation seven one they have a 144,000 Israelis there. Let's go back to verse 1. Then after this thing, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four wind of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, not on the sea, nor on any tree. I was talking about earlier, the dragon falling from heaven, and more demons coming from the hell. But this angel is preventing, protecting the earth. Why? They have a purpose. Because not the great tribulation yet. And they are waiting 
for 144,000 Israeli people get a seal on the forehead. The verse 2, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of a living God. And he cried with loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the tree, till we have seared the seven of our God in their forehead. 144,000 Israeli people get a seal on the forehead, which was written, verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all tribes of the children of Israel. Not only one hundred four thousand of Jews get sealed on the forehead, but God is calling great tribulation minister who will get sealed on the forehead. Anybody who gets sealed from God on the forehead got protected from Antichrist and demon. So we need to pray for the 144,000 Jewish people who get sealed. The Antichrist cannot harm Israel. The one of the region, they have 144,000 Jews is protecting Israel. So so far we know the two conditions before the rapture or great tribulation start. Number one is the number of martyrs has to be completed. We don't know in the Bible, but according to Pastor Now, she visited to heaven. She saw the number. The number of a martyr is 144,000. Number two, 144,000 Israelis who will get the seal on the forehead. Once number is completed, either martyrs or forehead, Jesus is coming for the rapture of the church. There is another 144,000 in chapter 14 book of Revelation. I'll talk about it later. So if I be talking about 144,000 Israeli, in fact, some of them, they are not believers of Jesus yet. Once they got the seal, eventually, they all believe Jesus as their Messiah. And they become a man of Jesus. The so next one is Revelation chapter 7, 9 to 17, verse 9. After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindred, people, tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robe and palm in their hand. John was in heaven before this event. He suddenly started to sing great multitude. I believe those great multitudes suddenly appear. That's why his reaction was, he held and look, they are not 144,000 Israeli in early chapter in chapter 7. Why? Because they are coming from all tongues, all nations. Not only that, even 144,000 we may count it in heaven, but no man could number. I mean, they are millions. They are rapture saints. In verse 13, and one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robe? And whence came they? Verse 14, He said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. So, he said that came out of great tribulation. Linguistically, the meaning might be came from the during the great tribulation or came before the great tribulation start i believe they are coming before the great tribulation start they are rapture saints because they have a white robe they all have a white robe if that is the person who die some of them have a white robe some of them some of them have a garment of salvation only they have all white robe they are the rapture saint. So in order to get a rapture, we need a white robe, the wedding dress. Traditionally, people believe great tribulation start from the first seal. That's why white horse rider was the Antichrist. So we know that that is not true. The reality is 
after the seventh seal, rapture of the church occur. At this point, we are living and waiting for the sixth seal event. So we are living seventh seal time currently. So we live in minor tribulation. That's why one quarter of the earth, which is North Africa to the Middle East, they are real killing of a Christian. We need, we need live in great tribulation. Christian will be killed all around the world. I like to look at who is initiating the seals, trumpet, and ball. Jesus is open the seal one by one. That means the rapture will not occur during the seventh seal time. Rapture occur before seventh seal. Jesus has to go to wedding of the Lamb instead of opening the seal. So during the seventh seal time, no rapture. Rapture will occur after seventh seal. Number seven is God's number, God's plan. Then great tribulation officially start seven trumpet and seven bowl. That's why seven trumpet and seven bowl is not initiated by Jesus, it's angel. If you go back to Bible and the book of Revelation, before the rapture, like Revelation 5, 12, and 13. People, angels, 24 elders, living creatures, they worship the Father God and the Lamb of God. And after rapture, Revelation 11, even they worship only Father God because Jesus is in the wedding of the Lamb. Interestingly, if you go back to Revelation 14, they have a people 144,000. In fact, they are rapture saint. So Jesus is still spending time with, with his bride. The rapture saints are more than 144,000. So who are these 144,000? They are part of a rapture saint. They are belong who is Jew and Israeli background. And if you go back to Revelation chapter 19, verse 11, Jesus is appear again. He was riding white horse. He coming as a ruler of the new earth. At the time, wedding of the Lamb in heaven is finished. So let's go back to seven seal. Before chapter eight verse one, that was seven chapter seven, the last part of chapter chapter seven of Rapture Saint, and then Rapture will be happen. Revelation chapter 8 verse 1. Why heaven is silence for in half an hour? So we have to understand the reality of heaven at this point. Current the saint in heaven. After they believe in Jesus as their savior, their sins are forgiven, they got saved. Once people who got saved, they die. Of course, the physical body died. The spirit never died. So they went to heaven with spiritual body. The saint in heaven, they are waiting for the rapture. Because the day of rapture, they're going to get a new glorified body. So not only true believer on this, on this earth waiting for the rapture, and heaven is waiting. Even angels was wondered the day of the rapture. But nobody know the day and hour. Only Father God. In heaven, it is called the first resurrection instead of rapture. The reason is 1 Thessalonians 4.16. The dead in Christ shall rise first. That's why first resurrection. And then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall and so shall we ever be with the Lord. But think about it. The, all the saints in heaven, many angels in heaven are coming out of heaven, be in the air for the time of rapture. The heaven will be silenced, oh, of course. There's no more saints at that point. That's why heaven is silenced for in half an hour. So during the time of a half an hour, Jesus is coming for the rapture of the church. 
why half an hour? The the rapture event from lifting up to sky to meet Jesus, it takes a few seconds to a few minutes. But why we need a 30 minutes? Even it could, it could be 30 minutes in heaven time, not earth, earth time. But in, in, in any way, the saints are waiting for the rapture. Of, as well as angel, I believe they have been prepared some big events in the air. Dancing, singing, music. After all these events, and the trumpet was blowing out. The last trumpet, the rapture will be occur. In 1 Corinthians 15, 52, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, the trump for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. So after the saints are gone to the heaven at the time of rapture, the great tribulation will be started. Next, I'd like to talk about falling away and departing. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, but that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of a perdition. The falling away, the Greek is apostasia. The English, English part is apostasy, which is abandoning one's religion. But all time, 2000 years ago, when John wrote this apostasia, it's not a falling away, it's a departure, which is rapture in the context. If you go back to Geneva Bible in 1599, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except they come of departing first. And that that man of sin is disclosed, even the son of a perdition. So when you say that come departing first, oh, because this is the rapture, the rapture first and man of sin, the Antichrist, will be revealed. So we don't know who the real Antichrist officially until after rapture. First trumpet is next judgment. In Revelation chapter 8, verse 6 to 7, And seven angels which he had a seven trumpet prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and there followed hell and fire mingled with blood. And they were cast upon the earth, and the third part of a tree were burned up, and all green grass was burned up. Have you considered third part of a tree was burned up? I truly believe nuclear attack destroyed one third of the earth, which including United States. Nowadays, many people are talking about Shemitah. Shemitah is Sabbath year, in seventh year, in the Bible talking about. In Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy. In seventh year, God tried to give blessing. But in the history, Israel become wrongdoing instead of blessing, the God's judgment upon them. New Semita starting September 25th in 2014 to September 13, 2015 because they are following Jewish calendar. The last Semita in 2007 and 2008, as we know, there was subprime mortgage crisis. 
14 years ago, year 2000 and 2001, 9-11, at that time, stock market collapsed. They have so many economic uh, collapse during the Suminta year. Even Great Depression in 1930 and 1931 in the Sumita year. So after seven times of Sumita, I mean 49 years, in the 50s, in the 50s year called Jubilee, the Jubilee starting September 13, 2015. So you may have a Jubilee celebration in heaven hopefully next thing i like to talk about how to prepare in terms of our dresses they have a two dresses in isaiah 61 10 the garment of salvation and robe of righteousness isaiah 61 10 i will greatly rejoice in the lord my soul shall be joyful in my god for he has clothed me with garment of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decked himself with ornament, and as a bride adorned herself with her jewel. So we see the garment of salvation here and robe of righteousness. If you look at the closely, Clothe me with garment of salvation. Cover me with robe of righteousness. As you see, robe of righteousness is an outer layer than garment of salvation. So we know garment of salvation is spiritual underwear. Robe of righteousness, spiritual outerwear. So, if you have a garment of salvation, we could go to heaven. But in order to go to the wedding of the Lamb, to get raptured, we need a robe of righteousness. Where in the Bible talking about this? The robe of righteousness for the wedding of the Lamb? This is the one. Matthew 22. King, Father God, invited for his son, Jesus. The first group, they didn't come. I think they are the Jewish people. They went to the street. They mean went to Gentile. A man here, verse 11. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. Verse 12. And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. So in order to go to wedding of the lamb, we need a wedding garment. Wedding garment is robe of righteousness, not a garment of salvation. Don't get confused with garment because this is New Testament is written in the Greek, the Old Testament written in Hebrew. The garment is just translation. It's not the same clothes. Let's get us some idea of a garment in the New Testament. Revelation 16, 15. Behold, I come as thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. So in order to go to a wedding, we need a garment. We have to keep the garment. We have to watch it and keep it in good condition. Otherwise, spiritually we are naked. The garment here in Greek is hematia. Another verse in Matthew, they are using hematia. When Jesus came to the Jerusalem, and many people come and prepare his way with their garment. They didn't take out their underwear. They took out their outer cloth garment. Same garment using in Revelation 16. So this garment, outerwear, that is robe of righteousness, the wedding cloth. 
Now to go back to Gammon of Salvation. This is a, anybody who was saved, get it. How, how do we get saved? We repent of our sin and believe in Jesus. In 1 John 1 9, if we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So we have to believe in Jesus as our Savior. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So this garment of salvation freely given anyone who believe in Jesus and who repent their sin sincerely. It's all by the faith. But robe of righteousness is different. If you go back to Revelation 19.8, and to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright, but the fine linen is righteous acts of a saint. The fine linen, robe of righteousness, is righteous act, meaning we have to own it. If you go back to Revelation 3, 4, thou hast a few names even in Sardis, which he have not defiled their garment. Even inside his church, some of them, they keep their garment, their wedding dress, robe of righteousness in good condition. That means it may become dirty. The sin make it dirty. That's why we have to repent every time. Repentance is the way to clean up the dress. Also, if you go back to Ephesians 5, 26, that he might sanctify, clean it with washing of water by the word. The word of God make it clean. Not only reading, we have to keep it and follow and living by the word of God. When you do it, we have a clean wedding dress. If you go back to Revelation 16, 15, Behold, I come at thee, Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. God asking to watch it and keep it our garment. Here says naked means we may losing it. If we are losing the robe of righteousness, even we may have a garment of salvation that is underwear, still spiritually speaking is naked. That's why we have to make an effort to keep the garment in good condition. In Revelation 14, 4 through 5, they have a rapture saint and God showing us how they prepared. Verse 4, These are they which were not defiled with woman, for they are virgin. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These are redeemed from among men, being first fruit unto God and to the Lamb. Verse 5 In their mouths was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. But God gives us idea how to be ready. Also, they become first fruit, meaning their life was devoted to God. And he said that virgin. The virgin is not physical virgin, spiritually they are virgin. What makes it spiritual virgin? We need seeing we open the door for the demon. So those people pursue, not try to sin. Also when whenever they sin, they repent right away. I found no guile. In NIV, no lie was found in their mouth. Do you wanna live like this? That's, that's the way bride of Jesus to live. No lie. You don't lie anymore. You don't, you don't make any first statement. We don't do the gossip. You don't make it any ungodly word at all. And without fault, 
they are blameless in NIV. We have to be blameless. Very similar verse in Ephesians 5.27. Ephesians 5 27, this is originally for the husband and wife. In verse 32, it said that this is mystery. It is talking about Jesus, the Christ, and his church. We are his church. Verse 27, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that it should be holy without blemish. Not having spot, we continue to repent. We continue not to sin. We, whenever we sin, we repent right away. I've been recommending anybody for three days fasting and pray, like Jonah did. When Jonah, when prophet Jonah, that's why Jesus said even they could give signs of Jonah's. When, when Jonah was in the big belly of the fish, he was automatically fasting, of course he cannot eat it over there. He was praying for the repentance for three days. So anybody who really want to prepare for coming to Jesus, I'm asking for three days fasting and pray. Spend time for praying for three days. So after this, fast frequently. I, I recommend it. I've been fasting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday one meal fasting for four days per week. So pray as much we can, because pray make it stronger in our spirit. This is, I got a screenshot of a NIV. First Thessalonians chapter five, the day of the Lord, whatever you interpret it as the great tribulation, day of the rapture or sixth seal, we are waiting for the day of the Lord. How to prepare, that's why giving final instruction Verse 12 to 28. So I, I picked something important in this final instruction. Verse 16. Rejoice evermore. 17. Pray without ceasing. 18. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Have you been looking for the God's will? This is the God's will. Rejoice all the time. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in any circumstance. That is God's will. Are you doing the God's will? Are you depressed? Are you praying infrequently? Are you complaining? Are you be anxious? Those are not God's will. So we have to rejoice all the time, pray all the time, and give thanks to the Lord all the time. That's the God's will. After that, point not the Spirit, verse 19. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We always respect the Holy Spirit. We always acknowledge the Holy Spirit. We have not never been alone. We are always with God Almighty. The God Almighty is dwelling within us. That's why every single thought, every single word, be careful. Quench not the Spirit. Despise that prophesying, especially prophecy of a book of Revelation. It is not only that, it is a really blessing. Prove all things, of course we have to make sure, and hold fast that which is good. Hold fast. If you hear this message, start to praying and fasting. Try to abandoning all the ungodly life. 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Anything evil, drugs, pornography, adultery, lying, homosexual, anything is evil, we have to avoid it. Verse 23, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Again here, blameless, spotless for the coming our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you want to prepare? Please pay attention to 16 to 23 of our first Thessalonians chapter 5. So I summarize. We are waiting for the sixth seal event, which is a great earthquake. Blood moon is already three days darkness. 
asteroid tsunami and port shift something else the problem is we live in the issue is that we live in blood moon time already so we don't have a time year 2014 2015 is the blood moon time that mean in this time 2014 2015 something is coming they have a great earthquake tsunami they have a great revival going on a lot of people prophesy two to three weeks and seven series will be open soon and jesus coming for the rapture of the church only holy and righteous bride will get rapture majority of christian will be left behind so it is time to pray and fasting daily repentance more than daily i recommend repentance pray a few hours in the beginning before sleep repentance pray because repentance is cleaning the robe and fast frequently it is time to surrender all to jesus it's time to commit yourself to pray more it's time to commit yourself to live holy and righteous life not only yourself to be ready let your family be ready let your friend be ready your co-workers be ready your neighbors be ready because time is precious time is running out it is time to do it right now so don't wait for tomorrow do it today if you listen to this message start to pray and fasting start to start to read the bible especially go back to first thessalonians chapter 5 the final instruction and rejoice all the time pray without ceasing and give thanks to the god almighty all the time anything other than this consider that is temptation when you feel like when you are weak consider that is temptation so rebuke it don't accept it don't ever accept the temptation as yours if you accept it as yours you've failed already so when you have a trial going on even somebody make you angry don't get it consider that is temptation and rebuke it in the name of jesus christ so all the time you pray all the time give thanks all the time give glory to god almighty and love jesus with all your heart and god bless you who, who are watching this video and more people be ready after watching this video